How's going everyone? It's DLB Gaming here and today we are not opening any packs or any box PX box, EX box or booster box I just want to introduce you guys to these Battle Arena decks so it's pretty much the same price as a Elite Trainer box but these Battle Arena deck box provides you 160 cards so uh, I'm ripping a box up I'm not gonna keep it so the Battle Arena box gives you two set of decks both contain 60 cards so it's the same price as around the same price as the Elite Trainer box, but it definitely gives you more cards. And I thought we we're only getting decks, but we're actually getting two flip coins, one Blastoid and one Rayquaza. And we have this cardboard damage counter. This is a okay. This is a rule book telling you. Uh, what to do when you're dealing with special condition when you're gonna flip coins and uh, showing you card type so it's a good box for beginners and if you're new to TCG and you want to try definitely get these battle arena decks so uh, get a friend with you play together learn the game together and there is a code card for the TCG online game as well. So, on the front, we have two promos Hollow card, one is Rayquaza EX, one is Keldeo EX. I think they're out of rotation, so you can only use it for expanded format now. As I've said before, this one is actually kind of old. My friend said that there will be a new one coming out, black and white, with Kyurem. So, if you guys want to get the new box, then definitely wait for the next one. And here, it's set. The cards are set, like there's no reason to uh, guess what we're getting in here. So, the reason I'm getting this box is because I'm getting sick of switching sleeves for my trainer's card, which is pretty annoying sometimes. And we're also getting reverse hollow energy card from the box, which is pretty hard to pull from packs. So, we're getting eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. Eight reverse water energy with more normal energy. And we have another Caudio EX, which comes with Versus Seeker. And you must have Versus Seeker in every deck, pretty much. So uh, if you're using different different color sleeves for different deck and you only have four versus seeker max then it's gonna take you some time to change it every time between games ultra ball pretty common tierno uh maybe not in those really competitive levels so leave that aside teammates it's another useful one i think superior energy retrieval it's rotated out so you can only use it in the expanded format probably and Skyla another useful card to find another trainer card Shauna pretty much the same as Tierno Rough Sea a must-have for water deck and rare candy since the GX Pokemon are coming out, and usually they're like the Lunata, Primarina, like Incineroar, like they're all stage 2. So if you want to skip one turn and evolve your Pokemon, then Rare Candy is a must. In your deck, Professor Letter, search for energy from your deck. 
Sycamore, another must-have in your deck, along with Versa Seeker, very useful card for draw power and Birch Observation. People don't use it a lot anymore, so I would say it's not that useful. And another very useful supporter and. The battle arena deck gives you a different art besides the one that I forgot from which expansion but the one that you can pull from the uh, booster pack so yeah so it says it's a promo card instead of from uh, their expansion like professional sycamore hair sets breakpoint but this end actually is actually a promo card Lysander a useful one Karen a promo card. I don't know if we can use it in standard, but I don't see a lot of people use it. Fisherman to retrieve your energy card from a discard pile. Escape rope, another useful one. And dive ball, definitely put it in your water decks because it's a search only water Pokemon. And Bianca, that's the old Lily. But the li lily is stronger because if you found a lily in your first turn, you can draw eight instead of six here. Archie's ace in the hole. It's going to get rotated soon, so. And we have a red eyes. I'm building a water box with Lapras GX, so these two cards are really useful in the deck. Lapras, Ramorade, Octillery, right, I forgot about it. A lower level Shaman, way cheaper Shaman, and you can draw five cards every turn during your turn. So, very useful for draw power. Feebas, Malotic, Feebas, Malotic, Scrittle, Scrittle, Ward, Tortle, Blastoids. So, this concludes our audio decks see how many useful card with the reverse energy you can use from the battle arena so if you don't want to play with your luck and not try to pull the cards then battle arena decks are definitely useful sometimes i think it's even more useful than the theme deck because the theme deck gives you basic pokemon but then this one here actually gives you Delta Pokemon like the Articuno we just saw. We have four EX Pokemon, two Rayquaza, two Keldeo, and the Rayquaza, since Rayquaza is a dragon type or like normal type in Rowing Sky, it even gives you different kind of reverse foil energy. So we're getting four fire reverse energy and four reverse electric energy and two Rayquaza and here comes the normal energy two fire five electric and we're getting another useful versus seeker ultra ball I'll put the Tierno away and in this deck we have switch so if you're having a lot of high retreat cost Pokemon like Snorlax GX that I play it needs four, so Switch is a useful card. And it's an item, so you don't have to worry about you can only use one during one turn. You can use as many items as you want. Skyla again, Stadium, Skyro Bridge. I've never seen it, and it's already rotated out, so you can play it in standard format. Shauna, Professor Letter. Again, for energy drawing, Sycamore, very useful. Birch, Pokemon Fan Club, it's search two basic Pokemon. So if you're playing a deck with only basic Pokemon, like in my Snorlax GX, I, it consists mostly Snorlax, Darkrai, Shaman, so it's all basic. So if you need more Pokemon in your bench, very useful card. And another N, promo N, Lysander, level ball. I played the Golduck 
Sun and Moon Gold Duck deck before, and this is the card that helps you draw a Gold Duck really fast, like to help you set up faster. It also works in the West Vespaquin deck. And Karen, Float Stone again gives you gives your high retreat cost Pokemon free retreat. Just attach this item and your Pokemon has no retreat costs. Bianca, Battle Compressor, it's rotated out, but really, really a really strong card for Vespicon deck. Like any deck that needs to attack with Pokemon in the discard pile. And AZ, if you know the Rare Lord deck, this is an annoying card. <laughs> And then we're getting Victini, two different kind of Victini, or Zapdos, two different Zapdos, Sacrum, Vendine, Pikachu, three Pikachu, Raichu, Tynamo, Tynamo, and Electric. So I think the Pokemon in the Kaldeo deck is better, and it has a, and the Rayquaza deck has a weakness against them. And it does, I'm surprised that it doesn't have Skyfield in the Rayquaza. But this Rayquaza probably doesn't do the uh, same attack as the one in Rowling Sky, so you don't need Skyfield in this. So, for me, and again, the reason I got this box because I need a lot of extra trainer cards, the supporters. I'm just sick of uh, switching sleeves between games so if you have the same problem as I do and you have never bought in any battle arena decks definitely get one you're getting four EX card and like guaranteed and every useful supporters I mean trainers card guaranteed you can get it and reverse energy it's really hard to pull in a booster pack so Definitely go for it if you want those. And this concludes this video, the Rayquaza versus Caldeo Battle Arena decks. So thanks again for watching. Click the like button if you like this intro and definitely press the dislike button if you don't like the video. And let me know any improvement that I can make for this channel, in the comment section, there are links to my other social medias in the description box as well. And thanks again for watching. I will see you guys next time with more Pokemon TCG products.